Retailers say they are losing 1.6 billion euro annually as a result of shoplifting from their stores. At an Oireachtas committee today, they called for more Gardaí and tougher punishments to deal with persistent thieves. A growing problem that needs urgent attention. That's what retail groups and their members have told the Joint Committee on Enterprise, Trade and Employment about shoplifting. The committee heard there's been an explosion in crimes against retailers in recent years. Serial shoplifters who rob them several times a month, gangs of feral youth who are completely out of control and believe they are untouchable and can abuse who they want and steal whatever they want with no consequences, and organised gangs who arrive into towns like a plague of locusts and rob to order. From the corner shop to the local supermarket, shopkeepers say they're robbed every day. Smaller retailers report an average loss of €40,000 a year from shoplifting. With one shopkeeper in Limerick, saying he's now losing staff because of it. One of my young men now, uh, uh, one of the bad people, picked up our bin and hit him over the head with the bin. Uh, the staff member felt he could do nothing because the, the young criminal was only 15. Uh, now this is a hard-bitten criminal. He, he's arrested many, many times a day by the Gardaí, but because he's under 16, he's not, he can't be prosecuted. Sinn Féin's Louise O'Reilly asked shopkeepers if they foresaw the rioting in Dublin last month. One retailer said he warned the Justice Minister Helen McEntee last July when American tourist Stephen Termini was assaulted near his shop. Something very serious is going to happen, and I think that's what happened on Thursday. For me, it was very prophetic. Now, um, and I sent another email on Thursday, you know, relating back to that previous email, warning that I saw a complete lawlessness developing for a lot, for since COVID particularly, mm. um, that came to pass. Retailers told the committee that extra Gardaí on patrol provided a huge deterrent, but said that tougher penalties were required, with repeat offenders getting away with what they saw as a slap on the wrist. Juliet Gash, RT News, Leinster House.